Hello everyone, so now I'm going to go through about masking and symmetry. Okay, so firstly, symmetry. Uh, you can activate symmetry through a transform tab. Activate symmetry. The shortcut for this is you press X. So pressing X, you will activate this button here. It's activated by default. So options for the symmetries are X, Y, Z, as this. And uh, there's also a way you can do a radius symmetry. It means that you're doing 360 degrees on a circle circle function and then you can determine how many uh how many how many brush strokes for example that you want to be activated with the same symmetry. So I will do a demonstration exercise next time. Um the uh, most of the scouts will start out symmetrically and uh yeah just make use of a uh, X button to on and off the symmetry. In terms of masking so this is kind of like how layers work in Photoshop. You protect certain layer in a scalp, or when you uh, see people doing airbrush, when they are spraying, pssst, and then they'll put on the masking tape. You know, it works the same way. So by putting on a masking tape, by protecting certain areas, you prevent the area from being affected by the scalp. So in this example, if the if you mask this area, you will only uh do brush strokes on the area around it and then you will therefore only apply the uh, volume to the area around it so it causes an indent on this area so if you hold down control you paint a mask over the scalp if you hold down control alternate you will erase the areas of the mask you control drag outside the scalp to clear the mask you can also uh, select more areas of the mask when you press uh, control and drag Okay, so let's uh, see for example. So I would open uh, another project. Let's open a let's open a demo anime hit this time. Okay. So if your the demo anime hit the default settings for symmetry is the symmetry is on and it's on the x axis. Okay, so uh. When you were to scalp on this head using the number one brush, it it's very okay to scalp on this. You know, you can just add eyebrows. This is already the already symmetry is on. Uh, if you want to try something funky, you can try uh, activate symmetry on the R axis, and uh, let's say we do a sixteen on the the radiant crown. So we can actually do brush strokes in a radial formation. So this is like a circle formation. So the axis is not very good, so I'll change this to Y axis. The brush size to small, so maybe who knows, maybe you want to create a tattoo on the head, you know, you'll be able to do it. So this was actually useful if uh, you were to do some hard surface objects and uh, if you want to create insert meshes on a circle formation, it's actually very useful. Just so you know. Okay, so back to a masking. If you control, uh, if I were to just use uh, a normal brush again, I don't want the idea transform anymore. Okay, if I were to just hold down my control button, okay, I'll be able to create a mask. So, so you see, look, look at my mouse over here. Is using the mask pen. Okay, so by using a mask pen, I would mask these certain areas. And then later on, when I were to actually, this is a black areas are already protected, right? So if I were to scalp on these unprotected areas, these areas will, will be pushed out. Okay, so I can do something like this on my model. And if I want to deselect it, I can press a control alternate. And I can unmask this area, or I can just control drag outside here to unselect everything. Okay, control alternate to decrease the area again, control to just make it come back, control, control alternate to erase, control drag to erase everything. And if I want to select a whole area, let's say the back of the head is an alien, I want it to be flat. Select this, like this whole area, and then the yeah, I can just control this whole area. If I want to delete this area, just want to 
find out this uh, other thing. Uh, I will press Control I. I can invert the mask as well. Control I. Invert the mask, and then the these four buttons here I actually put here for you very nicely, so that uh, it's easy for you to hide points, delete hidden, and close holes. By default, ZBrush actually is quite difficult to do an operation like this. So, for example, this area now that is selected, I can just hide it. And I press delete hidden. And I press close holes, and now it's uh, nicely cut like this. So. This operation like this, you actually have to go through quite a few buttons in the default areas. So I put it here on the keyboard and our interface so that it will be easier for us to do this operation. Okay, so this is just uh, something good of our interface over here. So just take note, when you have this area selected, hide point, delete hidden, close hole, and I can straight away make it flat. Okay, so to repeat again, I can control select to select a area of the head. Control I to invert it, hide point, delete hidden, close hole, and then you'll be flat again. Control drag of the area, control I, hide point, delete hidden, close hole. Okay, so hope you learned the more about symmetry and the masking from this tutorial. See you guys next time. Bye.